Why now for the first live version of Speaking Image? This is the time, this is the moment to be making this show because it's getting harder to be kind of abrasive on television about the things you see before you in the real world. And live theatre seems to be the place to be able to do that. I think there's just such a desire to see the people in charge lambasted for the terrible things that they've done and really gone for. And I think with stage shows, you can just go so much further. Who's in the show? I, it's, I mean, it's a who's who. You, you couldn't cast this show. You couldn't have a show with Tom Cruise and Michael Gove, Ian McKellen. Our three recent prime ministers will all be in there. Boris Johnson, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. Idris Elba, um, Daniel Craig. Anton Deck, RuPaul, Angela Rayner, Greta Thunberg. Fiona Bruce. Uh, Paddington Bear, all in the one place together. I mean, this is the greatest crossover event of all time. I know Marvel like to say that, but Spitting Image Live is the greatest crossover event of all time. Developing a satirical comedy based on the politics of today has been a nightmare. The whole political scene is so fast moving that we've thrown away already three entire scripts. It's just so exciting to make shows like this at a time like this because people have a sense that this is not a normal time that we're living through and there's a real desire to see these people lampooned and I think a real anger at the state of things. And people need to laugh about it, so uh, we are here to serve the people. I don't want to like go for a lofty claim for what you can achieve with satire, but with this show we will save the world. Spitting Image saves the world in this show.